I'd like to introduce you to some specific versions of the analyzer and stop clock which work with the Ilford Multigrade 500 system. The 500 head is quite common in the marketplace. It was the most common implementation of the, five, um, of the Ilford Multigrade system. Although it's a little bit aging, most people prefer it to the later um, 6 version. Inside the head are two separate light sources and in front of each light is a unique filter, normally green and blue, but some people have yellow and magenta. Um, in this particular case I have yellow and blue. And the two light sources are separately controlled and the combination of those two provides the contrast control for the paper. Now, in the Ilford controller itself, um, this, they're getting a bit past it, frankly. Uh, they're often not repairable and um, they allow contrast control in half grade steps and they do time in a linear time and they do have a metering cell but the metering cell is designed for shadow base readings which are not the most reliable way of doing things and also um, it was calibrated for multigrade 2 which is long since deceased as a paper. So having got this enlarger myself I designed a special version of the analyzer to control the two light sources um, in a slightly different way to the way Ilford does it. Ilford basically changes the power level of the two light bulbs and runs both light bulbs together for the full duration of the exposure. My system runs the light bulbs at full power but changes the time at which they're both on to change the contrast of the paper. And this, At first glance the two units look very similar and indeed in their operation there are striking similarities. The main difference, however, is the way that the control happens. In the case of the standard analyzer, it takes a mains input and then controls the enlarger and safe light through mains outlets. On the analyzer 500, what happens is it takes all its control signals and power through a thin umbilical cord that plugs directly into the Ilford transformer. And through this, it gets its power and controls the enlarger and safe light through the transformer. The other very subtle difference between the two units is that a stand analyzer doesn't know what you're attaching it to. So when you use underlens filters, every paper that you use with underlens filters will give you a slightly different result. So this unit has to be calibrated to tell you what you will get for a particular filter combination. This particular unit works slightly the other way around. Because it's fitted to a known quantity, which is an Ilford multigrade head, it is able to slightly alter the exposure and contrast setting for each paper and grade that allows you to have consistent results between paper types. So, for instance, a grade 2 paper exposure for Ilford paper will be slightly different to a grade 2 paper exposure for, say, Adox or FOMA. And that's the unique aspect of this in that grade 2 on this is always grade 2 no matter what paper you put in front of it because the I'd like to take you through the analyzer 500 controls because whilst it shares a lot of the functionality of the standard analyzer the analyzer 500 has some unique tricks up its sleeve one of which is the fact that the grades don't go up in half grade steps but they go up in tenth of grade steps and they go to the limits of the paper rather than just to the, the numbers, you know, 0 to 5. And that's based on the calibration inside, and it tells it what is the hardest and the softest grade that's achievable with the paper. The other thing that happens is that the grade is displayed in tenths, and then when you release the button, it rounds it off just with a dot for half grade and a number for the whole grade. But that's just an approximation for the display purpose inside it's actually doing it to a tenth or a grade. The other thing is that the, um, the actual grade display can either be done in tenths or it can be done in ISO units as well. And this has a unique set of user options. Again, pressing and holding the focus button brings you into user mode and subsequent presses of the button, again, familiar display brightness, 
beep on and off, test strips being incremental or separate. Again, the standard step size when you power up. And the standard paper channel when you power up. And then this feature is unique on the Analyzer 500. It does a pause between the soft and the hard exposure. And normally they run on one after the other. So I can have the pause on or the pause off. And that sometimes helps if you're going to be doing dodging and burning selectively between the exposures. Pressing the user button does the ISO display. So I can either have grade in ISO and I can have that on or off. So if I have that on, I'll show you later what happens when I uh, change the grade. And then the last of them goes back to the standard user top of the menu and pressing the exit button here cancels out of that and stores it. But now if I change the grade setting, whilst the grade is still displayed in familiar units as a summary on the display, when I'm actually altering it, it's now doing this in ISO units. So that's ISO 45 and going softer takes me up to probably about ISO 170. And that's just because uh, the way we calibrate the unit is to ISO grade and so we use it on the display so that it can be very accurately um, redeployed. Another feature of the Analyze 500 is that it has a densitometer mode. Turning on the enlarger turns on the fan as you can hear and if I take the, the button of the uh, probe and press and hold it, it just comes up with the word high because it's too high but if I press and hold it for a longer time it comes up with the word log and then when I release it, it gives a light level. And the light level blinks away on the screen. And if I put it in somewhere darker, it will settle. And that can be used for calibration purposes, for setting a known light level. And if I press and hold it again, it will start taking density readings. And it will compare it to the brightest reading. So this is obviously the first one is a density of zero. If I now make it darker and press it again, I have a density of 0 0.07, 0 0.1, and to cancel this density mode, I press and hold the measuring button. It turns the enlarger off and returns it to normal operation. The fan on the enlarger will continue for another three minutes, so I'll stop recording now and wait for it to uh, power down.